Hey everyone, it's Ryan Weinkoop, Extension IT Specialist. I'm going to demonstrate a new feature that we have available to us in Qualtrics, the Qualtrics Offline app. So basically what this allows you to do is give a Qualtrics survey on a smartphone or a tablet without internet access. That's right, you do not need internet access to give a Qualtrics survey anymore. So if you want to follow along while um, you're watching this video, you want to make sure that you're able to log into Qualtrics from a desktop or laptop computer and that you have either a smartphone or a tablet nearby that you can download the Qualtrics app onto. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you'll need to do is to log into Qualtrics, um, just like you normally would when you're creating surveys. So I've logged in here, and once you're logged in, you need to look in the top right hand corner where you'll see this little silhouette of a person. So go ahead and click on that, and a drop down menu will open up, and we want to click on account settings. Once you're in account settings, it'll probably open up to user settings. We can ignore that. What we're looking for is Qualtrics IDs. So go ahead and click Qualtrics IDs. And once we're here, uh, what we're looking for is this part right here in the center of the screen. We're looking for what's called the token. It's this really long string of letters and numbers, and we'll talk about why we need that in just a minute. So now that you're here, we need to go ahead and download the app. So I'm going to switch to my iPad screen here, and we'll go ahead and demonstrate that. So you need to download the Qualtrics Surveys app on your device. So whether that's an uh, Apple device or Android, uh, it doesn't matter. The app is available in the App Store and also in the Google Play Store. So since I'm on an iPad here, um, I'm in the App Store. So I'm going to go ahead and download the app. And when you log in, it'll ask um, if it can access your location. Just go ahead and click Allow. And then you'll see the little silhouette again with username and password. Um, it's not that easy to log in, unfortunately. So what we need to do is uh, double tap the silhouette, the gray silhouette here, and you'll see some fields pop up. Um, and then we need to double click the um, icon again. And two more fields popped up. So now we can go ahead and log in. So username, um, it's basically your email address with just a few minor changes. So it's your Purdue username. But then you're going to type in the uh, pound sign or hashtag, depending on which generation you are from, and then Purdue. And then we can skip over password, skip over data center, and we're going to go down to API token. So remember that really, really long string of numbers and letters that you found when you logged into your account on your computer um, underneath that Qualtrics IDs portion. We now have to type that in. So it's not easy. Uh, so this isn't very user friendly, but the good news is you only have to do this once. You will have to do it for each uh, device that you put the app on, but you only have to do it once. So that's the good news in this. So go ahead um, and type that in. I'm going to go ahead and type the token in for my account. Basically what this does is it connects your app on this device to your Qualtrics account so it can access the surveys. So I'm going to go ahead and type mine in. And if you have typed everything incorrectly and you click save, it should start to populate your surveys from your Qualtrics account. Um, once you have the surveys in there, you should see the survey that you want to give um, using the offline app. So I'm going to use this demonstration app or this demonstration survey just to show you. So I'm going to go ahead and click demonstration. And you'll see uh, the first thing we have to do is actually download the survey. So the way this works is it will actually download the survey to your device so that people can take the survey without internet access. And then you'll upload the responses later. So I'm going to go ahead and click download survey. It shouldn't take too long to do that. And um, you'll see here it says zero pending responses and zero uploaded responses because nobody has taken it yet. So let's go ahead and click the green take survey button. And what will happen is it will open up just like a regular Qualtrics survey would on a mobile device. So I'm going to go ahead and take the, take the survey. The great thing is um, it automatically puts a restart button that will take you then back to the beginning so the next person can take the survey. So they can go through and take the survey and then they can restart it. You can pass along the device to the next person or if you're using this like as a kiosk at the fair to get feedback or any other event, um, you can. that's a nice feature to take it back to the beginning for the next person. So let's say you're done, you've collected all the responses, look up here in the top right hand corner, you'll see an X, just go ahead and click that X, 
and it'll say, do you want to exit the survey? Yes, I do. Um, you have the option to um, name this description. So for example, if you're gonna be giving you know, a feedback survey all week long at the fair, um, you might wanna just you know, label it by day. So we'll just say that this was Wednesday afternoon. You don't have to label your responses at all. Um, if you don't want to, you just click OK. So now you'll see here it says three pending responses and zero uploaded responses. So um, what you have to do in order to get this data into your Qualtrics account, you just have to upload the responses. So the blue button here in the bottom right hand corner, we'll just click that and you'll see there we now have zero pending responses and three uploaded responses. So let's go ahead and head back to your Qualtrics account on your computer and take a look and see if they showed up. So here we are back at our survey and uh, once you're in there go up to data and analysis and you'll see here um, your responses so you can kind of get an idea of what response were received and the great thing is you can actually add a column in that shows you um, how the responses were received so you can see here I've done quite a few of this survey with the offline app these two here that say spam were ones I took with actually distributing that link that we would normally take sur Qualtrics surveys right now. We call them spam for some reason. So those were taken from my laptop. The rest of these were taken from the offline survey. So then you can just um, download this data however you normally would, whether that's exporting it to an Excel sheet or making reports in Qualtrics, whatever you want, you now have that data and you were able to get it without internet access. So uh, go ahead and play around with the offline app. Um, let me know if you use it so we can share with others the success you've had. Let me know if you have any questions or issues. I'll be happy to answer those. As always, you can find a lot more information on the Purdue Extension EdTech blog, but feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Good luck.